Hey guys, how the hell are you? This is Islander. Welcome back to the newsroom. All right, guys, real quick, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing. Also, guys, although I don't mention it very much, it will help me out. If you are liking the newsroom, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Give me a like button on that. Okay? All right, guys, we've got a lot of things to cover. Uh, we all know, or most of us know, that uh, Workshop 4.3 has arrived. Okay, and my predictions were wrong. I thought maybe they were going to crush the numbers, give us another test server uh, before releasing 4.3, and they didn't. They released it today. Uh, on that note, I had a major fail. I failed big time. Uh, I used my keys in a video spin uh, yesterday, okay? Didn't think that they were going to release the 4.3. I thought I would have a little more time to acquire some more stuff, and uh, that's a blunder on my part. I was able to get on today during uh, my lunch hour. I watched uh, Big J on, on his live stream. Big J uh, had about 30,000 keys that he had saved up from grinding this past month. And, uh, yeah, he got all kinds of cool stuff. He got one of the suppression bots and I think another 8,000 components on the other two. So he's right there. You know, uh, I was going to be using all my video ads towards upgrading, and I know I said that. You're going to have to forgive me, guys, but I'm going back to uh, using those uh, video ads to acquire keys because I need to try and get... Uh, to those new suppression bots as quick as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to watch uh, Big J and, on his stream and and uh, some of the other guys that, that, that are going to be putting out video content on these new suppression bots. And, and let's see how they, they, they work in, in, the, in the live server, okay? Uh, I also played a game of free-for-all during my, uh, uh, my lunch hour, okay? And uh, guys, everything you see here in my hangar was still effective, okay? The least, most least effective bot, believe it or not, was the Spectre Orkin. That was the least effective one uh, of the bunch. Uh, I think I picked up about 1.4 mil. This is without uh, without any uh, boosters, okay? This was just a straight-up game. I picked up about 1.4 mil in damage and about 13 kills and did really good. The top performer of today's game was the Pursuer. The Pursuer Gust Halo. It does what it's supposed to do. It did what it did on the test server. And pretty much what it does every game. So, guys, if you're going to be targeting a bot, this is a good one. Although, we don't know how it's going to be acting with that new suppression bot, uh, bots that are coming in. So, we need to monitor that pretty quick. I mean, pretty closely. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get over to the 4.3 so we can take a look at those updates. And now, uh, it is what it is. They've done what they've done. And we got an option, guys. We can either adapt and overcome or we can just crumble. Okay, and I say we adapt and overcome. You know, we're still going to play this game. This game is still a lot of fun to, to a lot of us. And, you know, although a lot of us did lose uh, on the Spectre part with that, with the uh, reduction in, uh, in cooldown time, and we'll be going over that, and, and the reduction in speed, we're all playing by the same rules, guys. So, you know, what, what my Spectre bot does, yours does, and the guy next to you does, we are still using the same, the same type of equipment. And you're not going to be seeing the new bots on the field too quickly. Uh, although, uh, yeah, my other fear that would come out of this uh, as soon as they dropped the 4.3 uh, has come to reality. I had a feeling, you know, once they dropped this, people were going to open up their wallets a little bit and start dropping some coin. And, yeah, that did happen. Okay. And, you know, what? before I go over all this in the uh, as far as the 4.3 and the changes that are made, let's go and jump over that. As of this morning... Their daily revenue was 1,860. Okay, they had moved up just slightly. Or they were pretty much where, where they were. They, I mean, they moved up a little bit. Okay, but this afternoon, guys, take a look at that. A $35,000 increase on their daily revenue is where they're, they're at right now. Okay, about $3,000 uh, 3, less on the daily installments, but that's neither here nor there. They have picked themselves back up in the ranking up to 112 and looks like they are making a comeback from the no pay, low pay uh, movement that we had going on. Okay, uh, This is an early prediction of what happened or what I thought might happen. I was kind of hoping that we'd hold strong and, you know, uh, and stay on the kick that we were and a lot of people just jumped off the bandwagon and... It is what it is, guys. I mean, we can't fault them for, for, for wanting to do what they need to do with their money. And it's all well and good. Uh, you know, where will the players bounce back? Is this going to be uh, a cash grab for 
for Pixel, and, and you know we're gonna go back down. Or is, is it gonna continue to rise back up? You know, uh, we're not gonna know until the near future. But they have uh, put the ball back in our court, and they did it with a lot of power. I mean, they just smashed that thing back to where we were, and yeah, it's back in our court now, and we do what we do. So uh, I don't know where we're gonna go from here. I really don't. You know, it just may go back to to where it was before, and uh, it is what it is. Not much we can really do about it. You know, we we are a few a few players amongst the millions. Okay, but we did have a good. We did have a great movement going. We did have a lot of community support, but that support has dropped off the the wagon hard and is rolling away from us. Okay, and I I'll be honest. You know, I predict these numbers to go up even higher. I predict a lot, of, a lot more people will be dropping a lot more coins uh, to to acquire the new bots and and keep up with the meta. And if that's what happens, well, then that's what happens. We we gave it our best shot. We did what we did. Uh, we did great. Okay. And uh, but if it's not the entire community involved, you know, the, the 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 few can't overrule the many. And that's just the way it is. Okay. Let's go back to the 4.3 update. Let's take a look at these changes, guys. The Falcon. It got a uh, 15,000 hit point increase, okay, a, feed, uh, a speed increase of 5 kilometers per hour, okay. The two medium slots are now two heavy slots, okay. And you can go back, you can read this on uh, on warrobots.net. Uh, I'm not going to read all of the breakdown and, and, and the little uh, segments of what they got to say on each one. Just going to go over the, the, the changes. Bulwark also got a 15,000 hit point increase, okay. Also got a 5 kilometer uh Kilometer per hour uh, increase in speed. Physical shield from 128 to 153. Uh, Ansel shield from 82 to 114, 400. And the cooldown from 33 to 22. So the bulwark got a big boost. I already have my bulwark uh, sitting in, in, in the hangar. He's at least at level 11. But the weapons are already at uh, MK12. And I did use a little bit of gold and a lot of my silver. To get those weapons up, so he'll be he'll be making a, an appearance in my gameplay pretty soon. The lance, okay, we knew this one was was gonna get uh, a buff, okay. He went his uh, rechargeability went from twenty seconds to fourteen seconds. The center shield, a big increase from one hundred two to one forty three, and uh, combined uh, durability three hundred six to three forty seven. Hit points went from one seventy to one eighty two, so twelve thousand hit points added. Other changes. The Carnage guys, now as we were in the test server, it was only the shield that had the buff. It wasn't the actual Carnage itself. Well, now the actual Carnage got a little bit of a, of a boost. He went from 114 to 121. Okay, that with the decrease of the uh, Shock Train, uh, which was the primary killer for this Carnage, uh, may make it a little bit relevant. I don't know how much, because keep in mind, a lot of people are going to be running Tyrans, and that will fall prey to the, to the Tyrans. Just as easily, he has no physical shield. He's got nothing to help him against energy weapons. Okay, Fury gets a, a five kilometer per hour boost, same as the Natash. No, I'm sorry, the Natash got three. So the Natash went from a a crawl to a a stand up, not even a walk. It's just there. Okay, Rhino uh, got a significant increase, 172 to 187. The physical shield. From 241 to 271. So we got 30,000 additional hit points on that frontal shield. The Fujin shield uh, also got a boost from 134 to 152. This is not gonna, this is in the same boat as the Carnage. That uh, Ansel shield is not going to help it at all against energy weapons. So it's got, and it's got to stay stationary once it's uh, once it's activated. Okay, so he's not going anywhere. He's going to sit there. He's going to be a target for anything using energy weapons. So will the Fujin make a comeback? No. No, it won't. Not with those numbers. They need a definite uh, hit point increase to make the, the Fujin viable. Okay. Other changes on heavy weapons and shields. The Ember uh, got a buff. You can see it there. The Exodus also getting a buff. Dragoons got a 250 point buff. Uh, buff. Redeemer got, got its. It went up 100, uh, 175. The Avenger is taking a nerf. Okay. 185 to uh, what, 8. I'm sorry, 885 to 835. So that's 50 points per round, per bullet. So that is a, a significant decrease in uh, power for the Avenger. 
The ECU uh, durability guys, the shield, 178 to 197. Now, you're going to be seeing this a lot on Hellboys, okay? The Hellboys are, are running, and they got a natural shield, and people are putting the ECU shield on them. And, yeah, they're solid little bots, okay? They, they, they get deep into the enemy's territory really, really fast, and they... Uh, they, they, they set off their, their explosion and they do the damage that they need to do. And they will disrupt the enemy, team, the enemy team very quickly at the start of a game. You don't believe me? Get on Big JJ's uh, live stream and watch him use that little sucker. It is something wicked. It's also very good for catching that center beacon, so keep that in mind. Uh, Anthro Shield durability from 95 to 109. So he gets 14,000 additional hit points on his Anthro Shield. Spectre. This is the one that was the, the talk of the town and, and had everybody up in an uproar about, about their Spectre because everybody and their grandma has a Spectre now. And everybody went, you know, two feet deep in to, to, to get their, their bots uh, up and get them maxed out and, and make them competitive for competitive play. Now, uh, I did use it today and I did use the Shock Train and I did use the the Orkin and the Tarants, okay? And yes, guys, it is still a competitive bot. It can still do the damage that it needs to do and it's still going to affect kills. The only difference is now is you cannot be as reckless as we were prior to this update, okay? We don't have the speed to get away from anybody anymore. We've lost five kilometers per hour and that will make a difference when you're trying to get away from somebody and turn that corner. Uh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. If you weren't making it before, you're definitely not making it now, Okay? The ability to recharge from 18 to 22. So you got to be cautious on your jump. You can't just do your jump, you know, find cover or run away and wait for that shield to, I mean, wait for that jump to to, to recharge. Now you're going to have to be cautious. You got an additional five seconds that you need to find cover with. Guys, in a Spectre, 22 seconds is a lifetime. That is a long time to trying to be dodge, dodging the other bots that are out there. So you're going to have to be a lot more intelligent with your Spectre gameplay than you have been in the past. And that same goes with me. And I did that today. I wish I would have recorded it so I could put it on for you guys. But it was just a, a test run of what they had. And I will be bringing some FFA and, and some team play to you guys so you can see it. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Not much is going to change for me other than my style of play. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, being a lot more selective on my targets. Okay, uh, I, uh, my targets are going to be to my strengths, okay? So if I'm running uh, a Turan, then I'm looking for something that doesn't have a physical shield, okay? If I'm running an Orkin, I'm looking for something that doesn't have an Anthro shield, okay? If I'm running the Pursuer, I'm looking for anybody and everybody because I'm going to kill him with that little bad boy. He just does what the boy is supposed to do. He's an evil little bitty bot, and he will kill you, okay? So... The, fear, the speed reduced by 5, the ability to be reduced by 5, and the stealth duration reduced from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. It is what it is, guys. These are the changes that were made. They're, you know, it doesn't matter how much we kick, scream, and yell right now. Nothing's going to change this, this setup for, for some time, okay? If they do a modification, it would probably be in 4.4, if not 4.5. They got some things coming down the, the pipe for 4.4, which should be our Halloween uh, update. Okay, but do I see them making any modifications? No, I don't. This was one of the biggest uh, updates that we've had in a very long time. So much was put into this. So many modifications. I've never seen so much done in one update to so many bots of weapons at one time. I mean, these guys went in. I can't say the word, but it was deep. Okay, the Heishi, another another bot that we all love and a lot of us have, and uh, and I'm going to continue to use mine because he's he is very effective against Spectres and other Heishis. Okay, uh, hit point decrease seven seven thousand. Okay, the shield decrease. This one is big, uh, nine thousand. The ability to recharge from twelve seconds to fifteen seconds. So uh, yeah, once again, guys, it, it changes our style of play. Okay, uh, you're going to find yourself doing a lot more walking. Instead of uselessly or recklessly just using a dash to, to get out somewhere. You're going to need those dashes when a Spectre makes a jump on you. You're going to need those dashes to get away from people. Okay? Uh, or if you're going to make your attack, you need to have that double dash ready to go. 
get, affect your uh, kill and then find cover. Okay? So, oh, that's one that, uh, with the Scourges, guys, it's still very effective. It was still very effective. So, I'll be playing more, and of course, I'll be bringing you those videos, like I said. The Bulgasari hit points from 190 to 175, so he takes a 15,000 hit point decrease. And his frontal shield, this one is huge, 304 to 217. That is a lot. That's a big jump down, okay? And then he's going to go in here and talk about the Assassin Bots, uh, the Mercury duration from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, okay? So the Mercury Bot is definitely getting a buff. Uh, ability damage, 44, 750 to 53, 250. So there it is. He's also getting another buff on his damage when he lands on you, okay? And if he has the right weapons on you, he's going to wipe you out really fast. Recharge from 18 seconds to 15 seconds, okay? The Hellburner, guys. This one is taking a buff, uh, buff as well from uh, 51, 750 to 59, uh, 750. So he's getting an additional 8,000 damage. And like I was telling you earlier, guys, this is a pretty solid little bot. He does a lot of damage very quickly. Uh, I mean, when he runs into in, into a group of, of players, you just see everybody scurry like like somebody turned on the, on the light and there was nothing but a bunch of cockroaches and they're all running for cover. That's what we look like when a Hellburner comes after us. You see every single specter take that jump, and every every Heishi and and Bogosari, everybody's using double dashes to get away from this guy. It's you know it's really really if you see it and it happens, it's it's hilarious. Okay, uh, medium weapons. It goes into a discussion about medium weapons and talking about how he, you need big weapons to take down the big bots, but you know that wasn't so the case with the shock train and the scourges. There were medium weapons that were doing a lot of effective damage against shielded bots. Well, all that changed here recently, okay? Shock trains from uh, 2215 to uh, 1920. Bounce range, or secondary hits, as we call them, 150 to 100. We saw that, and on the shock trains, uh, this one I'm in total agreement. Uh, it needed the nerf. It didn't need the nerf. It was, it was a very powerful weapon, and the 150 to 100... Uh, I'm good with that. If they were to reduce it down to 50, that'd be even better. Okay. Uh, the secondary hits were, were were a complaint from day one. From day one, and when it first came out, it was a ridiculously overpowered weapon. And the secondary hits and and and, and the hits after that were were ridiculous. I mean, you had people scoring you know 1.9, 2.2 million just using shock trains. Okay, and it is taking several nerfs to get it to where it is now so uh will it be the last time they nerf it who knows if they reduce it down to 50 meters like i said that's cool with me i wouldn't have a problem you know if they wanted to give me gold to take all the shock trains away i'll take take my shock trains get rid of those weapons they've been uh, a black eye on the game since the time that they were released okay the scourges all right these were an underpowered weapon when they first came out okay and then they were given a damage boost and everybody went out and got their scourges, and everybody's running scourges. Okay, now they've reduced them again. So they go from 5,040 to 4,725 per charge. Okay. Orchids Tyrants. The orchids are going to have a delay. So you're going to notice that it takes you a little bit longer to unload that full uh, magazine of rockets. Okay, so you go from 0 0.1 to 0 0.12. Does it seem like a whole lot? But it is, guys, especially when you empty out your your rockets, okay, and uh, you're firing one shot at a time after that, you're definitely going to notice that delay. The damage went from 1890 to 1670, <clears throat> okay, and I did use this, uh, and it was very effective. You know, I, I was able to take out uh, my, my target bots, and all I could say was you better not miss any shots. Okay, when you jump and, and you affect your jump and you've got your target lined up, don't switch targets. Don't look somewhere else, okay? And definitely don't miss. Because if you're missing, you're not affecting the kill. If you affect all your rockets and they all hit their mark, guys, you're still going to make your kills. You know, it, it's still, even with the, with, the, with the nerf it has, it's still an effective weapon, but you got to make contact with your rockets. they got to hit their target. Okay, Tyrants, uh 2560 to... Uh, 2250 okay now this one I'm not quite sure what they did uh, here down here they're gonna talk about the, the missile a bit pretty much kind of close to what I was telling you don't miss 
Don't miss whatever you do because you will not affect that kill. So you're going to have to become accurate with, with your orchids. It's not like before where you can just jump up and, and spray the target from left to right and you have so much power coming out of those rockets that it didn't matter if you hit every single rocket. You were still going to affect your kill. Well, the times have changed. Okay? And here goes the missiles, 38 missiles times 1890. It gives you the total amount of damage, which is two, 287,000 damage. Uh, that's enough to destroy the following three bots. Uh, Fury, Aleo, and a skirt, slurch, whatever that's called. Okay? Oh, once again, just don't miss. Okay, after the update, the Orkin, uh, four Orkins will be inflicted with 253,000 damage in four and a half seconds. This is enough to kill a Leo, a Fury, uh, but only 2.5 skirts. Okay. Uh, but now you'll have... Now you'll have to aim more accurate. That's, of course, what I was saying also. You know, don't be missing, guys. You're going to have to lock on your targets. Don't be swapping out targets. Okay. Now they're going to drop down to the support weapons. These support weapons, uh, most of them got, got buffs. Okay. But here we go. Let's go over the, the, the machine guns, the kinetics, the... The Molot 704, 775, the Molot T 770 to 1, uh, 1175, the Tempest uh, got a buff 710 to 1940, uh, the Nashorn uh, 10,038 to 11,554, so that got a nice little uh, boost. Uh, the Pulsar is getting a boost, there it is right there, 1385 to 1550. The Ballista and Arm, well, really, who cares about those? Nobody uses those, those weapons. <laughs> but if you want to take a look at them, guys, and you are using those weapons. Okay, let me pause for a second so you can see your weapons. Okay, there they are, and they got a, a time reduce and, and reload. Okay, Storm got a buff. The Corona got a buff. Okay, down on the bottom, the Gus is taking a minor, a minor, uh, a minor nerf. Okay, actually, it's pretty pretty solid little nerf. 5500 to 4725. I still used it and it was still very effective. Okay, especially in FFA. Okay, uh, Spark gets a buff 3400 to 3850. Shredders uh, got a buff from 935 to 1005. That's huge, guys, because that's per shot. Okay, so that's a very solid increase. I have uh, three shredders that I was setting up for the pursuer. So, yeah, he, you'll be seeing that shredder come into play, especially with, with lockdown in effect. It's going to do some serious kills. Okay. Uh, Halo damage gets a buff from 5,500 to uh, 6,050. The glory from 18,150 uh, to 19,650. Other changes. Robots. Uh, hover. Okay. You guys can come back and take a look over this. If you so choose or just run over to the website and take a look at it. Here are the other weapons. Of course, we know the aphids uh, got, a, got a nerf while the vortex, the medium slot, gets a buff. Okay, and I didn't think that the aphids were that powerful that they needed to be decreased. Okay, but apparently uh, me and the developers disagree on our assessments. The hydras will be delayed. Okay, uh, three tenths of a second now. So your shots will take longer to come out of those hydras. Okay, that's going to give your opponent uh, a lot more time to run and find cover. Okay, so that's pretty much the bots and weapons, guys. The stuff that I wanted to cover with you. And, of course, we covered the other part, which is the uh, the economy of the game. After they have done this and they have bounced back from the no-pay, low-pay uh, meta that was going on uh, against them and the, the strike that was going on, which I haven't heard very much on the strike as of late, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was still going on. Uh, we're going to have to chuck one up for Pixana, guys. I mean, it's really hard to eat crow. It's really hard to eat crow, and it's really hard to say, yeah, we were right there, and we were doing so good, and we fell off the wagon, and it is what it is, and Pixonic has jumped back into the driver's seat, and they have bounced back from, from where we were at, and there's very not much we can do except, you know, shoot them a thumbs up, and, you know, those of us that are going to continue to play are going to continue to play. We're going to grind out what we need to do. You know, we're going to look for certain deals on gold, and uh, hopefully... Hopefully the no pay, low pay will will make a bounce back and, and come back and, and come back into effect and you know not give them too much success on, on this deal. But uh, honestly, guys, I see I really see Pixonic sitting in that driver's seat and holding on to that wheel. Okay, 
they did say in the near future, and one of their, their little videos where Stan comes out and he's talking to everybody, that they are going to increase ways for pilots to speed up their upgrades, okay? Now, how are they going to do this? Are they going to do this with gold? Are they going to do this with uh, maybe double videos? You know, I don't know what they're going to do, but they do have something in the works to help players uh, increase their, their upgrade times. And if this does come into effect, and they, you know, they are helping the players, the players become happy, then the no pay, low pay, and the economy, guys, is going to sit right where it's at. It's not going to budge, okay? I wish I could tell you different. I wish I could tell you, no, we, we got it, and, and we're coming back, and, you know, we're, we're, we're the better team. And But, guys, it is what it is. I mean, what do you want to say? You know, we're not going to sugarcoat anything for anybody here, and that includes ourselves, okay? Uh... You know, they, they hit a home run on this one. They really did. And they bounced back uh, just as hard a, a, as they fell. So kudos to them. Congratulations, Pixonic. And I wish you all the best. And I still wish that you would uh, uh, fix the economy, you know, help out the players. Uh, but, you know, the ball is in, in your court. So we'll see what, what, he, what Pixonic de decides to do in the near future. Guys, this is the newsroom. Uh, once again, if you're liking the newsroom, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button and that uh, bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the stuff we got coming up in the very near future. All right, guys, I uh, just want to say that. Love you all. Take care and stay classy.